restoration works at the iconic City Hall building are in full swing. Thus far, 70% of demolition works have commenced and the contractors are confident that they can get the works done well before the 18-month deadline. The City Hall building was once deemed Victorian exuberance in timber, but years of neglect left it in a dilapidated state and branded an eyesore. The newsroom spoke with the project manager at the site, Ramnaris Somwar, who shared that minor structures inside the building have already been demolished. We have two vaults, wrong floor. Very, the vaults are very 18 inch thick, and we cannot carry big machine in here to do it. So we have a light machine to walk in. We expect to finish about then. And then from then, where you go? We, 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 well, that time our equipment will be here, and we put careful on two sides of the building and we start to work on the external walls. Somwar took the newsroom's team to the upper flat of the building and the years of wear and tear were evident. Rotting wood, the dilapidated steps and even an old piano were seen. The structure was incredibly shaky and much care had to be taken when stepping on the creaky boards. But even with neglect, Somwar shared that the old architectural style of the building was intricately done, some of the best he has seen in his years as an engineer. Those guys were really good because in those days they didn't have, have electrical tools like now. Everything was hand tools. They did, they did a well precise job. The neo-gothic style the building was designed by architect Ignatius Scholes and the foundation stone was laid by Governor and Returner Irving on December 23, 1887. And now close to 780 million is being spent to restore it to its former glory to greatly enhance the look and feel of the capital city, Georgetown. Reporting from the City Hall for the newsroom, I am Shikima Day.